ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஃபார்மா டாபிக்ஸ் சேனல் வெல்கம் டு தி எயிட்டீன்த் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் கிளினிக்கல் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் ஃபார்மகோ விஜிலன்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஃபார்மகோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் இட் இஸ் பார்ட் ஏ தர் வில் பி டூ பார்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ வில் பி பார்ட் பி வாட் இஸ் ஃபார்மகோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் ஃபார்மகோ எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் இஸ் தி பிரான்ச் ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் தட் ஃபோக்கஸஸ் ஆன் அசஸிங் தி எக்கனாமிக் வேல்யூ ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசூட்டிக்கல் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹெல்த் கேர் இன்டர்வென்ஷன்ஸ் it involves evaluating the costs and benefits of uh, different healthcare interventions including medications medical devices treatments and healthcare programs uh, to inform decision making by healthcare providers policy makers and other stakeholders pharmacoeconomics plays a crucial role in understanding the economic impact of healthcare choices and optimizing resource allocation within the healthcare systems let us see the costs involved in uh, pharmacoeconomics first is uh, direct medical costs uh, medication costs the, this is a direct cost the expenses associated with acquiring the medications including the cost of the drug itself manufacturing distribution and dispensing fees then healthcare utilization costs related to the healthcare services utilized due to interventions such as uh, hospitalizations outpatient visits physician consultations diagnostic tests and procedures then medical supplies and equipment the cost of medical supplies devices and equipments used in conjunction with the intervention then laboratory and diagnostic tests expenses associated with the tests to monitor the interventions effects or evaluate the patient's outcomes then uh, direct non medical costs first is non medication healthcare costs other the non drug healthcare expenses such as rehabilitation services physical therapy nursing care and home health care are non medication healthcare costs then travel costs expenses incurred by the patients and caregivers when traveling to receive healthcare services or treatment then home health care services costs associated with in home services provided to patients such as nursing care physiotherapy assistance with activities of daily living are all home health care service costs then indirect costs productivity losses these include costs resulting from the reduced productivity or missed work days due to illness or health healthcare related appointments indirect costs uh, also cover caregiver time and absenteeism then workforce replacement costs expenses associated with hiring and training replacement workers when the employees are absent due to illness or treatment then intangible costs pain and suffering the emotional psychological and physical distress experienced by the patients and caregivers as a result of illness and treatment is a intangible cost intangible costs are challenging to quantify in monetary terms then administrative and uh, overhead costs research and development costs for pharmaceutical companies these costs uh, include expenditures related to developing new drugs conducting clinical trials and obtaining uh, regulatory approvals then pharmacoeconomic uh, study costs expenses associated with uh, conducting a pharmacoeconomic analysis including data collection analysis and modeling then discounting time preference future costs and benefits are often discounted to the present value reflecting the idea that a dollar spent or gained in the future is worth less than one spent or gained today so discounting is used to account for the time value of money when conducting pharmacoeconomic analysis researchers and analysts consider all the relevant costs to provide a comprehensive and accurate assessment of the economic impact of healthcare interventions it's important to capture a wide range of costs to ensure that the decision makers have a complete understanding of the financial implications of adopting specific interventions or treatments so let us uh, see some other uh, factors which are in the pharmacoeconomics one is quali quali stands for quality adjusted life uh, year it is commonly used uh, measure in health economics and pharmacoeconomics to quantify both the quantity and quality of life gained or lost due to a specific healthcare intervention or a medical condition quali uh, are used to compare the health outcomes of different interventions treatments or health conditions in a standardized way 
the quality is calculated by multiplying the number of years lived by the quality of life score during those years mathematically it can be represented as quality equal to years of life into quality of life score for example if the individual lives for 5 years with a quality of life score of 0.8 during those years the quality gained would be 5 years into 0.8 equal to 4 qualies Next is HRQOL. HRQOL uh, stands for Health Related Quality of Life. It is a crucial concept in pharmacoeconomics and health economics. HRQOL uh, refers to overall well being, functioning, and quality of life experienced by individuals in relation to their health status and any medical conditions they may have. It uh, encompasses uh, physical, mental, emotional, and social aspects of well being. <coughs> that can be affected by a person's health it is measured with uh, instruments uh, which include questionnaires that ask the individuals to rate their health status in various dimensions such as physical functioning pain emotional well-being and social functioning wally integrates uh, hrql into a single metric that accounts for both the quality and duration of life gained or lost due to the health related factors Next, ICER in pharmacoeconomics. It is the incremental cost effectiveness ratio. It is a key concept in health economics and pharmacoeconomics used to compare the costs and health outcomes of different healthcare interventions. The ICER quantifies the additional cost required to achieve an additional unit of health outcome, such as quality adjusted life in years when comparing two interventions. It helps decision makers assess the value of one intervention relative to another in terms of cost effectiveness. ICER equal to cost of intervention A minus cost of intervention B divided by effectiveness of the intervention A minus effectiveness of intervention B. First we will see there are different types of pharmacoeconomics. One is a cost benefit analysis. Cost benefit analysis is a method used in pharmacoeconomics to assess the economic value of healthcare interventions, including pharmaceutical products. It involves comparing the total benefits of an intervention in monetary terms to that of the total costs associated with implementing that intervention. The goal of a cost benefit analysis is to determine whether the benefits outweigh the costs, providing decision makers with insights into economic feasibility of adopting a particular healthcare intervention. How the uh, cost benefit analysis is applied in pharmacoeconomics? First, identify the costs and benefits. Identify all the relevant costs associated with the intervention, including direct medical costs, direct non medical costs, and indirect costs. Quantify those costs in terms of uh, monetary. Uh, using appropriate uh, data sources such as healthcare utilization records, reimbursement rates, and market pr prices. Then identify the benefits. Identify and quantify the benefits of the intervention in monetary terms. Benefits can include cost savings due to reduced healthcare utilization, improved patient outcomes, increased productivity, and improved quality of life. Then monetize the health outcomes. Health outcomes that are not naturally expressed in monetary terms such as improved quality of life or increased life expectancy need to be monetized to be included in the analysis. This involves assigning, assigning a monetary value to each unit of health outcome gained. Then calculate the net benefit. Calculate the net benefit by subtracting the total costs from the total benefits. A positive net benefit indicates the intervention's benefits outweigh its cost, making it economically favorable. Sensitivity Analysis Conduct sensitivity analysis to assess how changes in the key assumptions or parameters impact the results. This helps assess the robustness of analysis and its conclusions. Discounting Future costs and benefits are often discounted to present value using an appropriate discount rate. This accounts for the time value of money and reflects society's preference for receiving benefits sooner rather than later. So decision rule. The decision rule uh, in the cost benefit analysis is to choose the intervention that the results is the greatest net benefit. If the net benefit is positive, the intervention is considered economically justified. Interpretation. 
a positive uh, net benefit uh, indicates uh, that the benefits of intervention exceed its cost and that adopting the intervention is economically favorable a negative net benefit suggests that the cost of intervention outweigh the benefits and alternative options may be explored next is uh, cost effectiveness analysis cea what is cost effective analysis cost effective analysis is a method used in pharmacoeconomics to compare the relative costs and health outcomes of different healthcare interventions including pharmaceutical products cea aims to determine which intervention provides the most health benefit per unit of cost and helps decision makers allocate resources efficiently unlike cost benefit analysis which quantifies the benefits in monetary terms cea quantifies the outcomes in natural units such as a life years gained or symptom free years and compares them to costs how cea is applied identify the interventions identify the interventions being compared these could be different medications treatments healthcare programs or strategies identify the outcomes define and quantify the health outcomes associated with the each intervention these outcomes uh, could be changes in the clinical markers disease progression quality adjusted life in years life years gained symptom relief or other relevant health measures then estimate the costs identify and quantify all relevant costs associated with each intervention these costs include a direct medical costs direct non medical costs and indirect costs calculate the incremental cost effectiveness ratio calculate the incremental cost effectiveness ratio by dividing the difference in cost between two interventions by the difference in their health outcomes that is the effectiveness icer equal to cost of intervention a minus cost of intervention b divided by effectiveness of intervention a minus effectiveness of intervention b then compare the icer to threshold a common practice is to compare the calculated icer to a threshold value this threshold represents the maximum amount a society is willing to pay for a additional unit of health outcome example per quality gained if icer is below the threshold the intervention is considered cost effective as it provides additional health benefit at a reasonable cost sensitivity analysis conduct sensitivity analysis to assess how changes in key assumptions or parameters impact the results this helps assess the robustness of the analysis and its conclusions then the decision rule uh, the decision rule is uh, in cost effectiveness analysis is to choose the intervention with the lowest icer if it falls below the threshold if multiple uh, interventions are cost effective the choice may depend on the other factors like budget constraints clinical considerations and patient preferences then interpretation an intervention with the lowest icer is considered uh, more effect cost effective as it provides a uh, greater health benefits per unit of cost the threshold for cost effectiveness varies by country and healthcare system and is often determined uh, based on so societal willingness to pay for health improvements so it's a very short information of uh, pharmacoeconomics the different types of costs cost uh, benefit analysis and cost effective analysis i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends uh, kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos uh, which is available in the clinical research and pharmacovigilance playlist in the pharma topics channel thank you